The fifth Grand Prix of the FIM S1 Supermoto World Championship arrives in the small town of Castelletto di Branduzzo for the Grand Prix of Europe. We're about 15 kilometers outside of Pavia in the region of Lombardia, which is no stranger to hosting motorcycle events at the highest level. In SM2, Asiri Kingolin arrives as the new championship leader, while Thomas Scherer will be looking to strengthen his grip in S1. And with temperatures above 40 degrees, it's going to be a tough GP for sure. A quick look back at what happened a couple of weeks ago in Italy, round four, Manu Hermanen got the whole shot, but by turn two, as seen here by Ivan Lazzarini with a GoPro, Thomas Scherer had already made a pass for the lead. Peter Bulacek and Thomas Trevnicek fell at turn two, so they had a lot of work to do, but Thomas Scherer, Ivan Lazzarini, Manu Hermanen, they were your top three. But it wasn't long before Hermanen closed in on the Honda rider, and as he came out of the left-hander, went down the back straight, he got the slipstream perfect, by the end of the straight, he was up the inside of the Italian and into second. Then went after Manu Hermanen for the lead, but he lost the front end and fell from second, handing the advantage back to Lazzarini and, of course, the championship leader, Thomas Scherer. Eventually, he would remount and get back to finish in third, but it was a win for Thomas Scherer. Lazzarini was second. In race two, on board immediately with Thomas Trebnicek as Hermanen took the whole shot from Thomas and Adrian Scherer. The early stage of the race, Hermann, Thomas Scherer and Adrian Scherer with Lazzarini. They were your top four. Italian rider Christian Rivaglia, well, he fell, but he picked himself up. He was OK in the end. Medics seeing to the Italian rider, but up front, Manu Hermann was making no mistakes in race two. He pulled clear at the front of the field. Thomas Scherer complaining of tyre issues at the end of the race. While well, Manu Hermanen was rectifying his mistake from race one and pulling clear of the rest of the field. A few seconds behind, Thomas Scherer also knew that second place would be OK for the overall victory. Out of the final turn then, in moto number two, Manu Hermanen strolled across the line. He was the winner of race two, but Thomas Scherer who came home in second was the overall winner. Adrian Scherer came home in third. And the podium in Italy was Thomas Scherer, your overall winner. Manu Hermanen was second, Ivan Lazzarini was third. Of course, Thomas Scherer continues to lead coming into GP5 this weekend. Luca Brambia and Lucas Holbacher take us a trip around this Casaletto circuit. It's about 90 metres to the first turn. It's almost a double apex type of corner before tightening up into 180 left and then opening back up down another straight in the opposite direction into turn two. This tight 180 right. Back in the opposite direction. Through the wide left hand turn, flicking over onto the fat side of the tyre briefly. Again, another double apex right. That tightens up on the exit. And then we hit the main oval part of the racetrack. A long sweeping left-hand turn. About 300 metres on that left side of the tyre. So with the warm temperatures this weekend, the left side of the tyre is really going to take a hammering. Then it tightens right up as we enter the sky zone. Over a small plateau jump, through the right, over a little double jump, and then into this right. You see the little moguls there on the inside as well, just to throw the riders off. Also helps to create a couple of different lines. Tightening up through here, and then even more so. Very tight, 180. Quickly onto the left side, through the next left, over another single jump. You can use this berm all the way around the outside in this next left-hander, onto a plateau. Then it turns right up here, over a single. It's a slight bomb hole through here. The balance of the bike changing slightly as the riders exit through there. Then everything's back to normal here. 
Now this back straight used to be about 370 meters long, but as you can see, the riders now swing to the right, slowed down somewhat by this left-right chicane before resuming back down the straight and into this long sweeping left-hander. Hard on the brakes here, couple corners to go. Pulling it back for the right-hander into the final corner now, and then it's back down the start, finish straight, and that is a lap of Castelletto di Branduzzo. In SM2 race one, pole man Yuri Guadala had a problem with his bike and had to start from the back of the grid. He came back to second, but after the race, it was deemed he had outside assistance from his mechanics and his points were swiftly removed. Siri Kinglet was the winner, Paolo Gasparoni second, Giovanni Busai was third. This was SM2 race two and Yuri Guadala on pole this time, making no mistake, he gets to the first corner in first place. Gasparoni 140 behind him in second with Busai and Tony Clem. Clem almost making a mistake going through that first corner, but he managed to keep it in there. He's now in around seventh, eighth position. Kingolin, the championship leader, attempted pass just a moment ago on Busai for third, but he was passed by Bartolini instead. So Guadalupe, Gasperdoni, Busai, Bartolini, and Kingolin as they work their way round the sky zone. And Guadala really wanting to make amends in this second moto. Very hot conditions here for the riders. Oh, Lapini, he fell on the opening lap. Back here though, battle for third. Busai, Bartolini, Kingolin, third, fourth and fifth place as they head down the hill towards the finish line area. But Bartolini, you just saw there making a move. He did go through. So at that point then, Bartolini third. Busai was fourth. Kingolin, the championship leader, number 11 in fifth. Milan Sitniewski just behind him on the 1-2-1, that blue TM in sixth place. Already a round winner, of course, earlier on in the year in Czech Republic. There's Tony Clem. He's in 10th place. Busai, though, under attack from Kingolin on the number 11 machine, who makes the pass at the end of the straight on lap four. So that moves him up into fourth. Wadler looking good out front, though, as Gaspardoni feeling the heat from Bartolini and Kingolin, and too much room shown there. Bartolini now up into second. Busai still under pressure from Milan Sitniatsky as they fight over fifth place. Busai will do all he can to stay there though. Back here though, Bartolini looking over his shoulder and on board with Gaspardoni as Kingolin goes through. So Kingolin now up into third place. In this battle here between Bartolini in second and Kingolin third. Obviously, points mean prizes in terms of the championship. Kingolin, the new championship leader, he has that red plate on the front of that machine of his. Down the inside of Bartolini, takes second away as Sitniatsky goes out. So Sitniatsky then, out of sixth place, and Kingolin did find a way through. The race winner, though, Yuri Guadala, comes home to win race two. Siri Kingolin takes second, Bartolini third, and that will be another overall victory for Aseri Kingolin, that's two overall round wins in a row now. Gasparoni second overall this weekend, Bartolini third, Busai fourth, and Tony Clem fifth. Should have been so much better for Yuri Guadala, only eighth overall with that second race win. Here's your podium then. Aseri Kingolin, your overall winner. Paolo Gasparoni second, Fabrizio Bartolini third. Decent crowd here this weekend at Castelletto di Branduzzo as well. And the red plate still in the hands of Asiri Kingolin, the new championship leader. This weekend it's very hot for me because the temperature is very hot. I think it's plus 45 and first race I win and second race I can do nothing. Guardala it's so fast but we can fighting for the Bartolini and I am a little bit faster for him and it's, I find one place and pass him and I take the second place and overall win. So back to back wins then for Siri Kingolin who extends his lead now over Bartolini in the championship chase. So Kingolin, Bartolini, Klemp, Sitniatsky and Guadla, your top five in SM2 after five rounds.
Next stop for these guys, Estonia. Ivan Lazzarini claimed pole position by 0.018 of a second. Herman and Adrian Scherer line up alongside him on the front row. Thomas Scherer, though, heads up row two. Alongside him are Bern Hema and Lucas Holbacker. As they round out the second row, lights go out here. Start of S1, race one, and immediately Manu Hermanen hits the front. Ivan Lazzarini behind him there in second position. Heading down the straight. Looks like Scherer there in third place. Thomas Scherer, Adrian Scherer in fourth. Revaglia in fifth. Bern Hema getting a good start in sixth on the 112 machine. So unfamiliar to see him here this weekend, the former world champion. Thomas Scherer, though, needs to stay ahead or get ahead of Manu Herman and the 131, the race leader. Opening lap here, though, there's Adrian Scherer. Fast wheels are He's in fourth place. Christian Revagla just behind him in fifth. Heading through the sky zone. Really twisty part of the racetrack here. Down the back straight, the shortened version through the chicane. Permanent, Lazzarini, Thomas Scherer, Adrian Scherer, Revaglia, and the rest as they disappear through there. Hema in sixth, Holbacker in seventh place. Manu Hermanen just taking a quick look over his shoulder, see exactly who's there. Well, the answer is the guy who was fastest in Super Chrono, Ivan Lazzarini on the L30 racing machine. But nothing in it between the first four guys at the moment. Manu Hermanen, Ivan Lazzarini, Thomas Scherer on the number four TM factory machine, and the fast wheels of Prilia of number five, Adrian Scherer. They're starting to put some distance between themselves and the chasing pack. In fifth place, Christian Revaglia on board here with Holbacker as he goes after Bern Hema. Into the off-road section and looking for a way through. Not able to find a way through though. Good onboard images this year in the S1 Supermoto World Championship as nicely done there from Lazzarini. Picking the front wheel up over that little mogul. Going after Herman and closer than he was the lap before. But Hermanet still denying a way through for the Italian. Thomas Scherer there in third. They're just starting to gap out. Adrian Scherer in fourth place. On that fast wheels of Pridia at number five. Third of the way through, though. Hermanet still looks like he's in control. Lazzarini will keep on pushing. So too will Thomas Scherer. Lazzarini looking for a way around the outside. That would have been a brave move if he'd have pulled that one off. Not to go through there. Slightly different line choice as well there for Lazzarini. Going around the outside of the Mogul. But then Hermanet just going a little bit defensive on the SHR TM. The race leader, 131 from Finland. Again, out onto the back straight. Through the left right chicane. Adrian Scherer looking interested as well now in fourth place. But once again, up into turn one. Manu Hermanen has everything in control. That gap, not going any bigger or smaller, is it, amongst the first four. There's Bern Hema on the Bauer Schmidt machine, riding 112. Holbacker still behind him in fifth place. So Holbacker having a good ride in this first moto. Back with the leaders, though. Hermanen, Lazzarini, Thomas Scherer, Adrian Scherer. Nothing in it. Once again, like a game of chess, this first race. One mistake, and it could be a catastrophe for that person who makes that mistake. Oh, Hema running wide, and Holbacker up the inside. Hema fights back, and then Holbacker able to square him off and finds a way through. So Holbacker then, 
up into fifth place. All back of there, number 72. And the 1 1 2 of Bern Hema. Back with the leaders again. Anu Herman, very, very hot conditions here. Almost 45 degrees out on track at the moment. But there's been no change since the very first lap between the front four guys. Probably the most static race we've seen in 2014 so far. There's Barella and Karanyatov. So those guys fighting over eighth place. Karanyatov, the Bulgarian. And Ravaglia, he's in seventh. So having a lonely ride is the Asimoto Honda rider. Good to see him up and running again after his crash a week ago. But final lap, final turn. Manu Herman and SHR TM wins moto number one. Even Lazzarini L30 racing second. Thomas Scherer, factory TM, is third with Adrian Scherer on the fast wheels of Prelude and fourth. And Holbacher is fifth ahead of Hema. The championship begins for well for me and friend GP. I was second overall. Was really, really happy about my results, and then really I was really confident in Romania. I was second first moto. I crashed in the second one. A bit disappointed about that, but I mean that's the sport. And and then Czech Republic. I had some technical issues, and also in the last GP in Italy. So a bit disappointed about that, but I'll do my best to recover on the podium. This is when I'm starting. I'm so exciting. I changed the bike model with Aprilia. The last race, I take very good feeling. I uh, winning both races and I take the red plate. And I'm so happy. And now I'm waiting from the this weekend on the Castelletto race. A lot of people want to take me the red plate off, like uh, Bartolini and Guardala and Clem. Tomorrow they have so fast, but I want to fighting so hard and I don't want to give up. And I want to keep it my red plate the finish on the season. Lights out for S1 race two and another lightning start for Manu Herman and Adrian Schreck up the inside of Lazzarini, but who's gonna come out first? Lucas Holbacher on board with him, gets pushed back to about fifth place, but it's Manu Herman, Adrian Schreck, even Lazzarini, they're your top three at the moment. As they go through there, Bern Hemer in fourth, Holbacher in fifth, Thomas Schreck, good start for him in sixth. Well, not a good start actually, because he would like to be a lot closer at the front than he is. Through the sky zone. On board with Holbacher. Holbacher in fifth. Oh, he throws it away in spectacular fashion behind Bern Hemer. So out of fifth place then. Picks himself up and rejoins the race on his Husqvarna. But he's going to leave himself with an awful lot of work to do now. This is one of the fastest racetracks on the calendar. Manu Herman though. He leads away. Adrian Scherer second. Lazzarini third as they flick through. And Hermanen is just holding on there at the moment. Good start. Better start for Adrian Scherer, but under pressure, under attack from Lazzarini. Oh, a little bit of bump and grind there through that right-hand turn. And Lazzarini, wow, he's straight up there into second position, taking no prisoners, taking a whole chunk of Adrian Scherer in the process as well, pushing the fast wheels of Pretty Rider, number five, back into third place. Going after the leader now, number 30, Ivan Lazzarini. Was fastest in the Super Pole session, the Super Chrono, earlier on in the day. There's Thomas Scherer. Well, he's buried way down the order in 12th. He fell on lap two. Remember, so now trying to pick his way through. Just finding a way past Eduardo Gente there. 
move himself up into 11th place. Luca Brambia is next. He's in 10th. Thomas Scherer in 11th, just behind him. Brambia, number 89. And Thomas Scherer in real unfamiliar territory here. But absolutely nothing in it. Battle for the lead. Herman and, and Lazzarini. Adrian Scherer losing ground in third. Hema going through in fourth. Then Ravaglia. And still no sign of Thomas Scherer. But all eyes on this battle here. Manu Hermanen. He can win. And he can be second in this race. And he will take over the lead in the championship. Of course, depending on what Thomas Scherer does. But Thomas Scherer making slow work through the field as Karanyatov making a move. Up into fifth place. And Lazzarini making a challenge in the exact same part on the racetrack that he passed. Adrian Scherer finds his way past Manu Hermanen. And we have a new leader. So five laps in. It's a long way to go for Lazzarini to defend that lead for Italy. You can see how Manu Hermanen looking to close in and make a pass immediately. But being denied there. Here's Thomas Scherer. Well, he's up into eighth. Edgardo Barella just ahead of him. Number 20 in seventh place. Ranyatov. Agnia, Esperella, there is Scherer, Scherer still going after the Italian Edgardo Barella. Finding a way through up the inside, yep, making it stick. So Thomas Scherer now then up into seventh place and going after Christian Rivaglia on the Asimoto Honda. Who's ahead of him just there, flash of red and blue in sixth place. So turning out to be quite a disastrous GP of Europe for Thomas Scherer on the factory TM. This weekend, he arrived here with the red plate. He's found a way past Rivaglia at least. Now moves up into sixth position. Even Lazzarini though, your race leader. Team owner, team manager, rider, setting it all up this year. Looking like a fairy tale round here in Europe. There's permanent in second position. Really no answer for him in this second race. Able to cruise on the final lap, even Lazzarini and the L30 Honda. Has been fast all weekend. And you saw from the body language all through the second moto, he wasn't afraid to go after anybody. Bern Hema, what a great ride he's had. Fourth. Been a very consistent weekend for him. But final turn, flag goes out, and even Lazzarini can barely believe it. Takes his first race win of the season and his first overall Grand Prix win as well since well, 2010, maybe even 2009. But your race result, Lazzarini, Hermanen, Adrian Scherer, Hema, Karanitov, Thomas Scherer, only getting back to six look. In terms of the overall Grand Prix victory, even Lazzarini picking up 47 points. The same as Manu Hermanent, but he wins it. Best result in the second race. Adrian Scherer on the podium in third. Thomas Scherer not on the podium this weekend, but Bern Hema, fifth overall here. So a very popular winner then for this GP of Europe at Castelletto di Branduzzo. Ivan Lazzarini taking the win. Manu Herman and SHR, TM second. Adrian Scherer, fast wheels, Aprilia, third overall. But a dream weekend for Lazzarini. An Italian team winning here in the country of Italy this European round. But the big news this weekend, Manu Herman, he regains the red plate. Takes it back from Thomas Scherer. A wonderful weekend for me. Uh, I think it was the fastest rider on track today. Uh, unfortunately, I lost the first hit, but then I could, it was possible for me to overtake Mauno and Adrian in the second race. So I take my the overall GP is since 2009 that I didn't get it. So I'm really happy. I really want to say thanks to all the guys that work behind me, uh, my father, especially my mechanics, all the team and master that give me a really good tire today. So I'm so happy. Thank you guys.
Yeah, great weekend for him. And in the championship, look at that, Manu Hermanen back on top. Scherer, an expensive weekend in terms of points lost this weekend. Lazzarini's third, Adrian Scherer's fourth, Paul Kemar is fifth. And in the manufacturer standings, TM leading the way, Honda a second, Aprilia, Husqvarna, Yamaha and KTM down there in sixth. Well, in terms of overall performances, it doesn't get much better for Ivan Lazzarini. A win and the overall, the only thing that was missing this weekend was the possibility of taking the championship leader's red plate, but that can wait for another weekend, surely. Well, that's it for Supermoto World Championship action here from Castelletto. Join us next time, round six, when we go to Tabasalu in Estonia. My name's Paul Malin. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then. Bye for now.